to wash your synthetic hair, you're going to need um, fabric softener. This acts as a shampoo for synthetic hair. And then obviously your unit or units that you are washing. Now the reason we get away with using um, fabric softener as a synthetic shampoo is because synthetic hair is made of fibers like um I don't know specifically what it is but basically it's made like with um, fibers that mimic clothing so we can't necessarily wash this hair with regular shampoo because it's going to do something weird to these fibers and have it like tangled up so I use lukewarm water don't ask me why I'm shaking this fabric softener like freaking salad dressing oh okay so we got some spilling out so that's gonna count as a few drops. Okay, we're still going. So what I was trying to say is the measurement of fabric softener is probably like half a cup. I don't know specifically what happens if you use more than that. I just knew when I first tried this method, I wasn't trying to find out. I wanted to make sure my synthetic hair stayed intact. So if you can see the color of the water at all, it's kind of just like a murky gray. That should be more than enough. You don't want to overdo it. Now I'm using Downy. This is scented April Fresh. But like if you don't want your, you, the unit is going to smell like Downy, FYI. It's not going to be overpowering or anything, but it's definitely going to have like the smell of whichever fabric softener you use. So if you're not really into having your hair smell like whatever scent fabric softener you have, then you can get one that's um, unscented. And there's also like the little, the ones that you can use on baby clothes, which is like really gentle. For me, when I did this method on my other unit, um, the scent wasn't overbearing, and honestly, it was only there for about a day. It smelled pretty good, actually, but to each its own. So what I'll do is I'll just dip my hair in there a little bit, get it saturated, and then I'll kind of finger comb it. Even if it's straight hair, I would not recommend going too crazy brushing or combing it. I would just say to tangle it with your fingers. Even as you're going through this process, the hair kind of starts to detangle itself a little bit. But in this case, this is like a wavy unit. This is what I use for my um, wavy half and half. So I definitely don't want to overdo it on this and like have the curl pattern all messed up. So as I'm dipping, it's becoming way easier to just run my fingers through it. Where on this one, like, it was impossible. And the crazy thing is I only wore this once, but I mean, you know, it's synthetic hair, so it's gonna do what it does. So after I do that, I'll just let it sit for a few minutes. And in this case, that was my ponytail, and then this is my half wig, so I'm just going to repeat those steps. the hair out of the water. Actually, I'm gonna move my phone. And then I'm gonna grab the hair out of the water. For now, I'm just going to wring as much of it off as I can because next I'm gonna rinse it.
I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that hair in there. You wanna keep your water more on the cool side. And while that is chilling, I'm gonna get to rinsing. Okay, so this looks a little ratchet, but this is the truth of the matter. <laughs> this is how it's done. And if you're wondering, I just have the towel down right here beneath like where it's dripping. I mean, that's self-explanatory. If you want to just let your floor get wet, be my guest, I put the towel down. Thank you. 